Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. So I guess this is probably the trigger for letting us continue with Maruki's confidant because we haven't been able to hang out with him since we got him to rank five. So we can get back to work on maxing this boy out now. Except it's gonna be summer break, so we probably can't hang out with him until after summer break. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Money troubles? Well, there's a subject where I could definitely use some input, but not at the moment. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. Are you just talking about Kasumi? So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? They'll be disappointed. Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. I mean, reality is unfair, but you just gotta keep trying, my dude. Give it your best. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. Could I interest you in a little project called Sukenomi? This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. That's going a little too far. Is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. I will. Verdant, welcome to stream. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kind of feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Next up is the weather. Seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. 
Got a lot of rain coming up. <sighs> Time just flew by today, huh? Is this plant healthy? You dumb plant, stop being healthy. Let's go to bed. Sam's are over. We can get a good night's rest. Let's go to sleep. Ah, uh, is this one of the rare nights where I actually cannot do anything? Curse you, cat! Let's go to bed. All right. Hey, it's me. Joker actually goes to bed with his phone in his pocket, and I've never, like, imagined anything more cursed than that. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about that summer festival. You remember, the one I told you about. Please let me sleep. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. We're all tired from the tests and whatnot, but just give me a sec. So, like... Completely spaced on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. I thought you said it was the 18th. It's currently the 16th. So you want to go? I'll think about it. No way, man. It's tomorrow. There ain't time for that. Let's just go. Ryuji, not everyone likes to live your high-flying seat-of-your-pants life. Let's make sure we invite Yusuke, too. He's always down to chow. Did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow, though. Ah, whatever. No way it's going to rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. It's raining right now. <sighs> How would he know whether or not it'll rain? Sheesh. All worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself. Be sure to keep a low profile, all right? Yeah, whatever. Let's turn in for the night. There was a TV reference for Rize if you watch TV on 7-1, just in case you wanted to know. That's really neat. Thank you for that information. And uh, no sleeping in. Got it? I'm going to skip breakfast for this. This dumb cat. Oh, my word. It's so... It's a heat wave. What's up? Ryuji actually predicted the weather. Yo, chat, speaking of Joker sleeping with his phone in his pocket, I had a question to ask. How many of you people in chat, because this came up with my sister earlier today, how many of you people in chat go to bed, like go to bed for the night, wearing socks? I want to know how many people wear socks when they go to bed at night. And answer me this, chat. Mm. Why? why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. Yo, wait, what? And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Yo, what? But Ryuji already has one with Makoto. Are you telling me that a phantom thief can have more than one showtime attack? Is that what you're telling me right now? I love it. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. Sick! Now every current Phantom Thief except Akira has a Showtime, and Ryuji has two of them. It's so hot! Pretty sure this is new. I don't remember this area at all from the OG game. It looks like in chat there's a pretty even spread of people that, uh... People that wear socks and do not. I... My sister was, like... She was aghast at the idea of wearing socks to bed. But I wear socks to bed literally every time I go to sleep. Because, like, I get cold otherwise. You lose a lot of body heat through your feet. Also, I just, like, I'm wearing just socks right now. I just hate not wearing socks. I, I wear socks, like, 90% of my life. The only time I take off my socks is to either A, change my socks, B, take a shower, or I guess if I go, like, swimming or something, obviously I do, or C, if it's, like, really hot, and I know that it'll cool me off really fast. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. 
Whose bright idea was it to come here? All right, clearly I made a mistake by wording it as just socks. I am also wearing pajama pants and a pajama shirt. I do wear, like, pajamas basically all day. Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? Yeah, we'd better not stand out. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. It's the exact opposite of what I wanted to hear. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah. What do we do? Let's just calm down. Be natural. It'll look suspicious to run. Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. Yusuke, you really are like the smartest person on this team that isn't me. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments, and I can't use any of the footage. <laughs> Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Yo, what's spunking at your boy Ryuji? For sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. I, I want to die standing next to Ryuji right now. <laughs> the worst part is that what he's doing is actually, like, one of the smartest things he's ever done. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Ooh, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right, my kebab. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. They really wanted a kebab. It's because we're together. We're bros. Just some bros being bros. Bros being dudes. Dudes being bros. Dudes being bro dudes. Dudes bros. Dude. That's pretty poetic, dude. Why did Joker look to the camera? like waiting for a laugh track to play when he said that well they came all the way out here so we might as well go check that thing out what thing i heard they're building some kind of huge ass stadium or something nearby wait was that what it was you don't know what you're talking about do you the stadium well such buildings often have intriguing architecture i'd love to see it for personal reference yeah, then come on, let's go. So, that's it? I wonder if whatever they're building here is going to be relevant for the new royal section of the game. It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Ryuji. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, I have to go hang out with my politician friend. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? 
Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meet earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Yeah, I got something to do. Y you go on ahead without me. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? What a pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. A pep talk? Or, no, you know what? Is something wrong? Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Now I think about it, no one says Kasumi by her first name. That's because it's Japan, and so you normally refer to people by their last name, unless they're, like, close friends. When you make close friends with someone, then you start referring to them by their first name. In Japan, you normally, it's like a thing of respect or something. You call someone by their last name. No one calls Akechi Goro, either. Akechi's first name is Goro, I believe. His last name is Akechi. But everyone calls him Akechi. That's weird to me. Well, I'm sure it's really weird to the people in Japan that when you, when Americans meet another Americans, they just say the first name. It's just their culture happens to be different. Kasumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. That's not good. Maybe best to accompany her. Ooh, that was delicious. Kasumi, did you eat like eight plates of food? What did I just witness? I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. The meet's done? Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Maybe it's more of a mental thing? I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Who do you mean? I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. Is your little sister the girl who died that Sojuro mentioned really early on in the game? I bet it is. But this spring, she died in an accident. I called it. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. Well, it's not over yet. Senpai, you're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. <laughs>